The business model that you're seeing in newspapers today started in the 1830s. It's a 174 year old business model and it worked great from 1833 to 2007. About 1833, the first penny newspaper appeared in Baltimore. The publisher of that paper was selling a newspaper for a penny and he could do that. Pulpwood paper was invented, rotary presses were invented, public education was coming on. Suddenly, you could produce a newspaper very cheaply. Store owners said, wait a minute, we can buy an ad over here and tell people to come and shop at our store. And advertising was born at this state. And there was only one way to get the word out. That was a newspaper. And so newsrooms began to grow. And the newsroom, from a business point of view, was there to, to entice people to, to read and to create an audience. So you gave away the news, so to speak, and that created an audience that advertisers wanted to get their message in front of, okay? And that worked great until, you know, radio took a piece of it but didn't kill it, TV took a piece of it but didn't kill it, and then in 2007, the internet rises and the economy goes to hell, advertising expenditures drop through the bottom and it hits newspapers harder than anybody, and suddenly newspapers are <gasps> What happened? And reporters got laid off left and right. I, I think there's like half as many newspaper reporters employed today as there were uh, in, in, the, in the mid 2000s. Half. And people don't realize what's happening. But uh, they're going to miss us when we're gone is not a business plan. We used to have a, an old janitor who used to work here, and he cracked me up. He, he'd come in, and the first thing he did is pick up the paper, and he'd say, I read the obituary, and he says, if I'm not in it, then I'd go to work. 